my invisible friends it has been a while since we've dedicated any time to the hp prime let's fix that sometimes i find myself using functions that are buried so deep in submenus in the calculator that i end uh, just typing their names one key at a time laborious huh in those cases i prefer to assign the typing to user keys let's see how this is done for this video, as examples, I have chosen functions that I use often enough. Those are the normalization one, the normal, the partial fractions, part frac, and the inverse Laplace, I Laplace. Let me assign the typing of those strings to the keys sine, cosine, and tangent, respectively. Don't worry, there will be no collision with the trigonometric uh, functions. I'll show you how this is done later. We start as if we were just creating a new program, Blue Shift Program. From the soft menus that appear at the bottom of the screen, choose New to create a new program. Our first task is to give the new program a name. In our case, the name will include all three subprograms. Click on Edit Name. Let me call it uh, Key Strings. The calculator opens the program editor with a template for a new program with that name, but that is not what we want. So we begin by deleting that template. Now the fun begins. Click on the menu key up here. A pop-up menu appears. Select the option Select User Key. And we get prompted to select the key of our choice. Let's assign our first string to the signed key. So I press the sign key. The calculator creates a template for that key. We only have to fill out the body. Like this. Return, double quotes, normal. So I write between double quotes the string that I want the calculator to type when I press the, the user key sign. Just that. No parentheses around the string. And then check. So the program is compiled, it seems to be okay. Another one, again, menu, select user key. This time, we click on cosine. There's a template and we write, return, double quotes, part frac, including the parentheses. I write there all the string, whatever I want the calculator to type for me. Do not forget the semicolon at the end, huh? check, it compiles, move on the last one, menu, select user key, tangent, and I write return, double quotes, I Laplace, parenthesis, comma S, comma T, close parenthesis, later on I will include whatever is the Laplace function that I want to find the inverse for, but that will be when I'm using the string check we are done let's test it here we get out of the programming mode and into cast mode to activate the first string shift user sign three keys not bad huh not bad at all let me erase that to try another one shift user tangent i think you get the idea now thanks for watching and i hope to meet you again in our next video